This is Jim Schwab, uh, manager of the APA uh, Hazards Planning Research Center, and uh, we're here at the Natural Hazards Workshop in uh, Broomfield, Colorado. One of the things we're trying to do is talk to uh, visitors from overseas as well as other participants from the U.S. about various uh, issues in post-disaster recovery. And with me is Luis Cifuentes, uh, who is with the National Research Center for Disaster Management in Santiago, Chile. And uh, I think this is a, a good opportunity for a little uh, international exchange here uh, to find out how your center was created and how recent, this is relatively recent, uh, and, and, and what the purpose of your center is. Oh, yes. Okay, first, uh, thanks a lot, uh, James, for this opportunity to uh, show our center to talk about it. Um, our center is a research center composed of uh, four universities mm -hmm. and was created, uh, responded to a call by our government uh, to uh, get academics to look at the relevant social problem in Chile, which is the management of natural disasters. Mm -hmm. uh, after the 2010 uh, quake and tsunami, we realized that uh, our country was not very well prepared, I mean, to deal with these issues. Although we have very good infrastructure ma uh, construction, I mean, mm -hmm. the, the, there was no much destruction in terms of infrastructure. Yeah, you had good building codes and things. Yeah, we have building codes, we have good structure engineering, uh, we didn't have a good uh, warning system, we didn't have a good uh, management system for the emergency, uh, for the recovery, so uh, there are many issues in which our country is still lagging a lot. Can you tell us a bit about, uh, obviously you had this event in 2010 uh, with the earthquake and resulting tsunami that uh, produced some damages, a, a number of lost yes, lives. Yes, about 500 uh, deaths. What's the sort of state of practice with regard to disaster recovery and disaster management in Chile? What, and, you know, what are the aspirations in terms of where you need to move forward? Oh, yeah. Well, um, well the, the state of the practice I would say is, is uh, lagging behind our, other aspects of public policy in Chile. Mm -hmm. um, Chile has been, uh, uh, has been named as an uh, example for Latin America in many issues. I mean, in financial policy, I mean, financial management. Uh, um, but in, in, some, uh, in some areas, we still don't have the human capital necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, we still don't have the... the uh, the, the institutions that can deal with the issues um, uh, effectively. Um, so um, right now there's a discussion about the new emergency management uh, law that will create uh, an emergency office mm -hmm. that will take care hopefully of all these issues. Uh, what we had before was just an office that will react to the disaster uh, getting immediate aid. But there sure. were no planning for recovery. There were no plans uh, ahead. Uh, there were no planning ahead about the the uh, needs of, of of the people that was displaced, that was uh, hit, and and I think that that um, reveals something about uh, our stage of development. Uh, we are a country that has a lot of earthquakes, and we get a major earthquake every. I would say 25 years. In 1960, we have a very big earthquake in 85. And at that time, I mean, people complain or people, society, accept this as a act of God, I mean, right. and, and basically say, well, okay, but luck, I mean, we, we, we survive, I mean, now let's get on with our, with our lives, I mean, try to rebuild our lives. But now people is asking much more, I mean, is asking that the, the, the government, the state, protects them better, help them better uh, rebuild their lives, their economy, uh, people's aspirations are much higher. So in that sense, uh, our government and also ourselves, uh, academics, I mean, have failed to give the answers. Um, uh, talking about ac academics, I mean, we have in our center a lot of disciplines for kind of the hard science of geology, structure engineering, geophysics. Uh, to uh, risk assessment, but also psychology, sociologists that look at the social impacts of disasters. And although they have been doing great work in their specific areas, they haven't integrated this, this work uh, in a way that can affect public policy, in a way that can go and uh, that can really 
help uh, authorities to develop some plans and be prepared. I mean. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, coming all the way from Chile, you're here in the U.S. for a reason at this conference, uh, which is presumably to connect with U.S. Exactly. and other yes. international practitioners uh, of all disciplines with regard to disasters and ha natural hazards. So what specifically uh, would you like to accomplish in terms of connecting with U.S. Uh, researchers and practitioners and resources for your center? Yes, well, we have much to learn from the state, uh, United States. I mean, uh, that there are many centers of disaster management, each of their own flavor, I mean, looking at different aspects of management. So we would very much like to connect with those centers to exchange uh, uh, ideas, to exchange also maybe students. I mean, mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we, uh, we have very good students in our universities. By the way, we are four universities, not just one university, uh, that will be very happy to spend some time here. Uh, I think that will be uh, the first step to collaboration then uh, hopefully we can get some uh, exchange of uh, professors, of, of uh, researchers. Maybe some coming to Chile as well. Exactly, yes. I mean, uh, both ways. I mean, it's not, mm -hmm. we, want, we want to have this both ways, I think. I think Chile is a natural laboratory, in a sense. Sure. Uh, uh, our geography, uh, we have all kind of disasters there. It's challenging. It's, yes. it's very challenging. And, uh, and the good thing is we still have problems of a de uh, uh, developing country, mm -hmm. but we have, we have data, we have uh, institutions uh, that, that work reasonably well. I mean. mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you, can, you can do uh, good research. I mean. Great. Well, I hope we're happy to help you connect at APA, and uh, I thank you for your time in, in doing this. Well, thanks a lot for the opportunity, James, sure. and, and I hope we will be in touch in the, in the future.